Trump, the Donald Trump lose the election in 2020? Real quick. Can you answer um, the question? Did Donald Trump I think lose the election I'm in 2020? I'm answering questions. I'm not... Don't is really this, a, is this an uncomfortable, an uncomfortable question for you? No, it's... See, this is the, the oh, Pete, that's so sad, man. You're so pathetic that you can't even admit that Donald Trump lost the election on Fox News. You have made a lot of money personally, and you've enriched a lot of corporations with advertising by getting on here and spewing lies and conspiracy theories to folks who that trust you. My and so what I'm if late-stage capitalism was a person, it'd be Pete Hegseth. Full of itself, all show but no substance, and crumbles under the slightest bit of pressure. Remember back in 2016 when he first backed Marco Rubio, then Ted Cruz, which eventually led him to Donald Trump, and now he's one of Trump's biggest supporters on Fox News. He's just a pathetic husk peddling lies for cash. What you to do is to tell your voters right now that Donald Trump hey, lost at least the election you in 2020. Can you, can you, that is, can at least you resolved the lie that is did you, Democrats did you are now for voter that? ID. It's not did your you show, sir. But at least, did, I, at least you resolved the Trump, idea that Donald Democrats Trump are not for voter ID. Did Donald Trump lose the election in 2020? Real quick. Can you answer um, the question? Did Donald Trump I think lose the election I'm in 2020? questions. I'm not... Don't is really this, a, is this an uncomfortable, an uncomfortable question for you? No, it's See, this is the, 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 Apparently it is a little uncomfortable for him. Don't forget, Pete has a long record of embarrassing himself on TV. With the axe, who's going to win this battle with the lumberjacks? That's going to put that. I'm putting my money on. Listen, this guy was in a boy band. I think his son will be much more qualified to be in a boy band. It's a lot safer on stage than it is on a football field, right? I mean, come on, this is indicative of the way the elites see football and, and tough sports and rough and manhood, frankly. This idea that you learn things when you get hit. You learn things in the huddle when you get knocked down. Listen, we all care about player safety. That's important. But to say, no, my kid can't play football because I'm worried he might take a hit, uh, it's indicative of sort of the softness that we get. My thing is we need boys and anyone who wants to playing football being tough listen you're, you you got to be safe you got to learn how to hit you got to do it the right way i played high school football i took some shots going across the middle as a wide receiver but it taught me a lot uh, about getting back up so listen i just think it sounds soft when someone says what if his boy wants to go play wide receiver why can't he this is america where you can do anything come on dad i guess he's just doing me to a future of boy band okay. we should separate out there could be some innocent Palestinians, including children, who were killed. Because in, Hamas be, told them to go to the front of a line okay, and get but shot. there are some innocent people who died. Caught yeah, in crossfire, yeah. whatever it is, children, let's just point I, yeah, that out. Instead, we're dismissed by, you know, the media, the left, the everything as bigots and unable to make a lot of those core arguments that need to be made. Wait a second, he wasn't lying there. They are bigots. But you, like many, have accused him of racism. But if you go back and look at that tweet, he's not talking about race. He's talking about whether or not you love this country and appreciate it. And if you don't appreciate it and don't love it and don't want to work to make it better, then maybe you could consider going somewhere else. There's plenty what of the countries hell? on Earth. Come on, Pete. I, what, this is their country. They're not, citizens of the United States. No, he's, he wasn't he's, he's talking about in general about the principles of so our what, country. So if you don't that believe you, it. you don't like it, you could leave. Absolutely. Absolutely. They can say that to me. Well, you cannot say that. You, can totally you can't say, say, it say, it say it to me. I could say it to you. And street fights based on that. Someone saying to me because I'm Puerto Rican, go because back where you came from. I was born on 17th Street. This is where I came from. Skin. I'm, not, I'm, I'm looking at what you stand for, the principles but of our once, country. Once White, you, black, otherwise. Once you make race. nationhood and citizenship like that right. uh, uh, conditional on your political right. loyalties, you run a very dangerous path there's there. Major, well, and you, you should there's know. There's a lack that. of gratitude. 